Hi everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting video on my YouTube channel. So I'm out collecting on my local beach today. The tide is just going out now and we can see it's been in pretty far because the cliffs are still a little bit wet over there which means it might have dragged quite a few fossils out. So let's get his eye in and see what we can find. We've got a modern day sea urchin here. So this is quite interesting. I suspect that it's fishbone, but I'm going to take it back for a closer look. So I've just found this lovely sea worn dock. It looks to be a nice complete one. So I can't get it open with my chisel because there's not enough space for me to fit it in. So I'm just going to have to give it a tap. Look at that. Now there's a perfect space for a chisel, I think. how it's gone. Oh, unfortunately it's probably preserved at the edge there. Looked really promising as well but that's just how it goes. So this ammonite split really nicely actually popped both sides. Quite unusual that is. So we've got a beautiful complete ammonite inside this rock here. See the keel running across the top? That's probably the mouth border. So that one will be going straight in my bag. If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've got a bunch of beautiful prepared ammonite specimens available for purchase. Also got fossilized bone. Please take a look if you are interested. I'll ship your orders worldwide. Thank you. Nice little sea worn Hildoceros ammonite. Just needs that end revealing there, but that should be a very straightforward preparation job. Really nice shaped rock. Let's see what's inside it. Ah, never mind. So I've just found a really nice looking ammonite. It looks like I've placed it, but I've not even touched it yet. But you'll have to trust me on that one. Looks like it's popped open already. Look at that one, absolutely perfect. And another really nice looking duck about one meter away from that one I've just found. A full, complete, but quite pirateized example that one. So these are both found in the same area. So it's just started drizzling a little bit, that's why a packet mac is always handy to have in your fossil hunting bag.
perfectly shaped nodule, whether it's going to have something in, let's find out. So we can see a keel has been revealed, but has it gone through the ammonite? So it's not gone too bad, certainly worth taking back I'd say. So there's quite a bit of seaweed covering all the rocks in this particular bay. So whether we'll find anything, but we'll certainly have a look. When I get back home, I'm going to show you a fantastic ichthyosaur paddle that I discovered in two separate sections. So definitely stick around to see that one. Perfect. There's a belemite fragma cone peeking out of the top of this nodule. So I'm going to tap it and see how it splits. Not too bad actually, it's only a smaller one, just needs that little bit of rock removing from there. Pretty cool. So we've got a beautiful ammonite just laying here. Looks like a nice tenucostatum ammonite and I reckon that will split perfectly. So I did just find these two really nice ones amongst the rocks. Quite sea rolled but they look like the type which will split well. So I'm going to get my chisel in them right now. So this first one appears to have split off really well. Nope, it hasn't. It's actually broken the ammonite. That's a shame. So this one potentially could be a really nice splitter. I'm going to get my chisel in this side and I'll see if it splits well. There we go. So I'm not 100% sure I caught that on camera. I think it was angled a little bit out of the ammonite, but it split really well to reveal this little beauty. Absolutely perfect example. Nice positive and negative. So here's a few more C1 nodules. And there's the one which I just cracked open. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you all on the next one. Hi everyone, I'm now up from the beach and I'm gonna go ahead and show you that huge ichthyosaur paddle that I mentioned in the video. Now it's actually behind this little curtain here. And you can see the size of the paddle digits. I was lucky enough to find this in two separate hunts about a week apart. So you can see there's a break here and I found them individually, but it's definitely from the same ichthyosaur. It was found in the very same spot. I always keep checking the particular spot just to see if there's any more that's come out but there's no luck recently. Maybe some other people have pieces of it in their own fossil collection, but I've not seen any more. Just to give you a bit of a different angle, it might be a little bit dark. Now the crazy thing about this ichthyosaur paddle is it would have been much bigger and the paddle digits would have progressively got smaller as they came out here. Maybe it would have been about this long. But this is all what I found personally. 
Hopefully you have all enjoyed this fossil hunting video and I will see you all on the very next one.